a loophole in the law. But why don't your officers wear body cameras? We didn't see the need. That let campus cops to go without body cameras while every other police agency had to wear them. Four investigates uncovered it in April. Force may be used against you. As campus police arrested protesters. Now, the University of New Mexico is making a change. This is something we should do at this time. After a rare physical confrontation between campus police and protesters here, UNM administration, ironically, had seen enough to force a change, one that's welcomed by those on the outside. Five, six, seven. Like Sophia Ellis Young and Devin Wright. This is as close as they're now allowed to get to the UNM campus. Having graduated in December, uh, I was kind of surprised to get a letter in the mail saying that I was banned until 2029 for the act of peacefully protesting. Banned for trespassing during pro-Palestine protests earlier this year. They expected to get arrested, and they did. But they did not know UNMPD did not have body cameras. Of course I'm gonna be recorded by body cameras through the whole process, so I thought that was a safety net. We wanted to talk to the police chief about this change. Last time he told us. We looked at uh, what would be the need here um, that uh, body-worn camera would help us with, and we didn't see the need. Instead, university officials directed us to Teresa Costandinidis. She's the executive vice president for finance and administration. I would say that the incidents that we've recently had did play a role. We don't often get requests for body cam footage. In this case, we relied heavily on both surveillance footage and the body cam footage from the New Mexico State Police. But it gave us a moment to say maybe it would have been helpful. This is a criminal act. If you do not comply with this order, you will be arrested. The clash at the sub was recorded in many ways. When we compare the recordings, it's easy to see why they're not equal. The fun part is going to be getting out of your Yeah, well. <laughs> With audio. We again push a line here. That way. It can be impossible to tell who is talking. The 3,000 surveillance cameras across campus do not have audio. They show protesters take the sub and barricade doors. They show dozens of state police officers in riot gear move in, dismantle the camp, push protesters, and make arrests. And they show when the cameras don't work. Multiple cameras were covered up, and at least one just stopped recording. Watch the time codes. This motion-activated camera just freezes right when police move in. A university spokesperson says nothing was deleted, and it appears to have malfunctioned. Nothing can replace seeing and hearing. KOB4 photojournalist Paul Trujillo was inside as police and protesters clashed all night. To really understand the differences, this takedown by three UNM officers captured by our camera would have only been seen like this, or heard like this. Do you think the audio recordings in a situation like that would be super insightful? Audio recordings have been very helpful for us as we've been going through past incidents. So I don't want to say anything disparaging about them, but there's, there is that sense that being able to see a video recording of what happened would be important and supplemental to that. Surveillance video did capture what appears to be UNM officers getting rough with protesters on more than one occasion. Why were the surveillance cameras inadequate for the safety goals that we have now? I like to think that the surveillance cameras were essential for the safety goals and actually our, prim our primary importance. We really wanted to make sure that we had coverage for the entire campus. Can you explain why we're talking with you about this and not the police chief today? Since body-worn cameras go beyond just a police function, it's a safety security function. It has technology, it has some human resource issues, it has communication with our entire community. I'm here to talk to you about that decision to implement. UNMPD will soon follow state police and wear body cameras. The interview that you did with our police chief to talk about it, and that brought it back to the table to say, this is something we should do at this time. It just seems really interesting to me 
that now, finally, they decide to implement body cams when there happens to be a lot of pressure. UNM is now ending its body cam blind spot. Ryan Laughlin. Everything is fine. For Investigates.